Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to ask the tarot cards today, how does this person truly feel about you? How do they feel towards you Virgo? How do they feel about this connection? How are they feeling about you at this current time? So stick around guys, this is a three card spread and it is for entertainment purposes only. So with that, just take what you need and discard the rest. If you do enjoy this reading, Virgo, uh, feel free to leave behind a like, share or subscribe if you haven't already done so. Okay, that, that card wanted to come through, so I'll take that. Beautiful. Oops. Okay, so spirit angels and guides, what's the dirt? Give us the dirt on how this person feels towards our Virgos. How does this person truly feel? Okay, we've got two cards here. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we've got the Emperor, the Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles coming through. The side of this person with the Emperor could be an Aries here, strong Aries coming through. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. Now, if I haven't mentioned the sign of your person, that's okay. It could just be that they're coming through embodying these characteristic traits of these archetypes in the upcoming week or two. Okay. Okay, the first thing I'm getting with the Emperor is that this person knows exactly how they feel. Okay, they're sure, they, they, they're sure of how they feel. Okay, they know exactly where you stand uh, in their life. Okay, I do feel very much that this person likes to be in control. The Emperor likes to lead. The Emperor likes to be in control. Um, the Emperor is a leadership energy. So this person feels like they need to control how this um, unfolds. Like this person likes to make the first move. This person likes to initiate a date. Okay. They like to be the first one to text you or call you in the morning or ring you or make plans. The emperor likes to make plans. Okay. So I'm feeling like the emperor wants to make some kind of plans um, this is how they're feeling. They're feeling called to plan something here with you. Uh, maybe plan a date. Maybe plan a future. Um, they're in the throes of planning something here with you. Okay. Now, I like the Queen of Cups. This is a beautiful energy, you guys. It's a very soft, nurturing, loving energy. I do feel for some of you Virgos out there with the Emperor, this could be your committed partner, okay? Now, the Emperor to me speaks of like husband material, like committed energy material, <laughs> right? So um, this person really does see themselves uh, committing to the right person. And with the Queen of Cups here, they see you as that person, like you might tick off all the boxes. You know, the Queen of Cups to me, in my eyes, she is a very mothering energy. So this person can really see you being the mother of their children or being the father of their children, however you want to put it. But it's a queen, so I'm going to refer to it as the mother of their children. This person wants children. This person wants family. Um... The Queen of Cups, she's very loving, caring, she is kind, she is sensitive, um, and she's also intuitive. So this person feels intuitively drawn to you, they feel connected to you, um, they just are drawn to your energy, they care about you, and the Queen of Cups, she has a depth of love. So I do feel like this person does truly love you, okay? Um, their emotions run deep for you here.
even with the six of pentacles, they see this as a balanced connection. They feel that it's balanced, that it's harmonious. They see you as being the best fit for who they're looking for in love, right? Now, the six of pentacles, this is equal give and take, Virgo. So you come forward and you present your best qualities to this person and you give them something that they need, okay? You give them something that they want, um, but they also want to return the favor. So I feel like um, how they're feeling at this current time is they want to return the favor. They want to be of service to you, like how you're of service to them, Virgo, let me help you. Let me support you. How can I make your day better? Like this is what I'm hearing them say. Let me sh let me love you, Virgo. Let me show you. What can I do for you? I mean, this might be, their love language might be, how can I serve you? Um, like they want to do acts of service for you. So this is how they love you. This is how they want to show you that they love you. This is how they want to show you that they care for you. Okay, so they may be coming forward with acts of service at this time. They want to give to you. Um, they may even feel that they want to join bank accounts here. Okay, like this is shared resources, Virgo. So they may even be at that stage uh, where they want to share resources with you, like let's join bank accounts or come and live with me or let's buy a home together, let's move in together, let's rent together. I see this as shared resources. They see this figure eight here. This is a, a strong connection. They feel a strong connection with you here. You may have done something for them in the past, okay, and they want to return the favour. There's, there's a movie about paying it forward. So this person wants to pay it forward. They feel like they're at the stage in your dynamic or you're in rela your relationship or your connection where they want to pay it forward. Virgo. But this is, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. You support me, I support you. Okay, that's how they really feel. That this person really feels like they want a connection with someone where it's harmonious and where it's balanced. Okay, they're all about equality, like equal. They're all about compromising as well. I mean, they may feel like they're coming into the week where it's all about compromise. So there we have it, Virgo. That's all I have for you today. I do hope you enjoyed this read. Until next time, take care.